And we're back again. It's your boy Jesus V. And if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Today's video is going to be super short. I just wanted to show you guys how to take your post-workout protein shake from where it is to the next level and make it a super drink. Now, we have all the ingredients laid out here. We got water, cinnamon, peanut butter, almond milk, oatmeal, hydrolyzed whey protein, an egg, and a banana. Now, all of these ingredients have nutritional benefits by themselves, but when you combine them together for your post-workout drink, it makes it a super drink. All right, so here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna start with almond milk. Now, almond milk is pretty expensive, so here's what I like to do. It's not me being cheap, it's just being realistic, all right? Because typically you wanna have about 10 ounces when you're done with this, all right? So what I like to do is I take a cup and I put about half, or a little bit more than half with almond milk, and then I put some water to make it a full cup. Boom, got a full cup right there. Gonna pour that in there. I'm making a mess. Don't mind me, I'll clean it right up. All right, and then I add just a little bit more almond milk. Just like less than a quarter of the cup. And add another drip. That's gonna make it around 10 ounces when we're all said and done. So now we got about 10 ounces of liquid here. Water mixed with almond milk. I'm gonna put that to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is we have cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle some cinnamon in there. All right. Now, cinnamon is great for flavoring and I like to use it because it has some anti-inflammatory properties. Now, we have peanut butter. I particularly like to use creamy peanut butter. It's a great protein source and it's an actual fat. So not only are you getting protein, but you're getting fats from your macronutrients here. All right, so now I like to do about half of a, a small spoon. So it end, ends up being about a teaspoon of peanut butter. Throw that right in there. Love peanut butter. I'm addicted to it. Boom, so we got the cinnamon, we got the peanut butter. So one macronutrient right here, fats, right? Now we got some oatmeal. Now, typically I make oatmeal in the morning, but let's say I don't have time today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just throw half a cup of oats right into my measuring cup, throw it right in there, boom. We got our peanut butter, cinnamon, and now oats. So we got our carbs, we got our fats, and now let's go into the protein. So I like hydrolyzed whey. I like to do like a, over, over the scoop. So like a little mountain over the scoop and I throw that whole bad boy in there, boom. Big scoop of protein right in there. Get that done. So obviously this is gonna be our protein source. So we already have two macronutrients. We got our fats with the peanut butter and then we got our protein or amino acids with the protein mix. Now we're gonna add extra protein by throwing an egg in there. Now, when I seen Arnold do this, he has a few extra ingredients. He likes to throw the whole egg in there. I'm just, I'm not a, a beast like Arnold, so I'm just gonna throw the yolk and the inside of the egg in there. Boom, throw the shell to the side. And then lastly, just for some extra potassium and vitamins, we're gonna throw a whole banana in there. Not only do we got carbs, not only do we got fats, but we have extra sources of protein and extra vitamins with our banana. Now I'm currently using a Nutribullet. You, if you don't have a Nutribullet, it's fine. You can use your blender. But if you don't have a Nutribullet and you want to start doing things or start juicing, I definitely recommend that you get a Nutribullet. I'm not sponsored. I'm just, it's just super convenient and it's super easy to clean. All right, we're gonna throw this in there. Let that mix for about like 10 to 15 seconds. And boom, our protein shake is complete. So like I said, you end up with over like 10 ounces of liquid. So I have my protein shaker. So what I'll do is I'll typically throw about like 
eight to 10 ounces in there. And then I'll have this as my post-workout as soon as I'm done with my workout. And then I'll just drink the rest of this at home. And voila, all done. Super easy. Once I'm done with this, throw it in the sink, clean it, and it's done. And that's how you take your post-workout protein shake from just being a protein source to a total macronutrient super drink. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. Like the video, share with the video that anybody that you currently know in their fitness journey or just starting out their fitness journey. Again, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. And as always, until next time, fuck your insecurities. Peace. Almost spilled that.